Bye for now. Welcome! Another delivery today from the land down under, the home of Vegemite Sandwiches, Australia. Pop culture, of course, I'm talking about. You all recognise their trademark neon green parcel tape. Now then, there should be two pops in here, and I don't know if it's coming across on screen, but this is rather a small box for two pops. Feels relatively weighty enough. I just hope it isn't one of pop culture's occasional boo-boos that uh, I and certain other small YouTubers and Funko collectors have been subjected to in the distant and recent past. There's only one way to find out though. Not fight. It's not Harry Hill's TV burp. Oh, I missed that. I wish it was still on. <laughs> but it's to get the box open. So one of these pops is a very new release, certainly the newest pop that I'll have in my collection. It's only recently come out, pop culture is the only place I've seen it in stock so far. And the other one is a convention exclusive from a few years ago that will fit a collection that I'm gradually building up. I did a video where I added a couple of pops to this particular collection not too long ago. Let's have a look. Yep, there is two pops in here and they're the ones that I hope they would be. Uh, no protective packaging, but this is a relatively strong box. One of these pops will be out of box for me and one will be in box. I'm hoping if there is any damage, it'll be more to the Oob one. Let's get the Oob one out first, actually. This is the brand new release. The one that's not been out very long at all. I'll also close up my knife, safety first. The first pop I'm gonna show you today is number 108 in the Pop WWE line. This is Bianca Belair. Really happy to get Bianca here today. I'm looking at the back at the wave that she's supposedly included in, and uh, that's quite an old wave now. That's from like about a year and a half ago at least, but I don't know how they're working it out. There's been a few new wrestling pops, WWE figures announced. Apart from Bianca here, they've all been characters that I've already got in some older form. So really, out of all the new WWE releases, as far as I know, unless I've missed one somewhere, this is the only one that I wanted. And um, because I didn't pre-order somewhere where it would take the best part of a year to arrive. I've actually got it like really quickly. So absolutely delighted. Bianca Belair is the current Raw Women's Champion at the time of me recording this. If you're watching this weeks, months, years down the line and she's not, then uh, that's your problem, not mine. A quick look at the back. So a bit of a weird selection to show, really. I thought they'd show some more of the brand new ones that have come out, which I think are, um, what is it, Do Love, Cactus Jack? I can't actually remember, but um, I knew they are all ones that I've got in previous guises. But I think that's Steve Austin there. I've got an older variant. There's China. I do have her. That'll be Edge. Got him. Drew McIntyre got him. And Otis with his Money in the Bank briefcase. So I do have all those characters in some form or another. Let's get Bianca out. And she's staying out because I've made space for her in one of my cabinets. I'm saying that, but occasionally I get a pop that I want to keep out of box, which is usually wrestling, office, parks and rec or James Bond 007, they're the ones that are rube right now. And occasionally, like because of the hair or having a big hat on, they can't quite fit in my cabinet, they're just a little bit too tall. I don't know if Bianca's gonna be like that, because if you can see her famous whip-style ponytail, it does raise up a little bit before it goes back down over the back. We'll see. If she can't stand inside the cabinet, I'll have to make room outside where she can stand next to Andre the Giant, who was never able to fit in it. If I can, I'll put her stand on. I can't actually flame in see. I'll do it later when I can actually see what I'm doing. Bianca, she's got her infamous ponytail there. Some nice texture to it as well. You can feel the plaiting, the braiding, whatever you'd call it. Then she's got this uh, purple and silver outfit on. She's there posing with two fists out. Really nice. I do like it when they release the female wrestlers. In fact, for a time early on in my Funko collecting, I know they said career then, but um, tenure, the only wrestling pops I was getting were WCW stars, former WCW wrestlers, and the women wrestlers. 
course I decided to start collecting even more and just get one of each character not long after that so uh, thank you for that Funko but I do like it when they release a woman wrestler as obviously the ratio from male to female wrestlers that are out in pop form is weighted rather heavily to the male side as you might expect but I really like Bianca here she looks fantastic delighted to have got her and able to put her in the collection nice and early not long after she's been released at all just tidy this box up as this one will be going into storage as bianca stays out of box and now for a pop that's got nothing to do with wrestling whatsoever but i saw it and it was at a discount as well on pop culture it's an old one now was it 2018 i think or 2019 can't really see summer convention exclusive uh, had some money off so it was even cheaper not including postage this was probably not much more than 10 pound which you can't really complain when it comes to a con exclusive and i'm talking about number 831 in the doctor who line this is pating I think that's how you pronounce it. Peting, Pating. I'm gonna say Pating, but anyone who's actually watched the episode or episodes of Doctor Who with uh, this guy in, then if you need to correct me, please do so in the comments. We've got the Summer Convention sticker on there. I think it's 2019, actually. Did I say 2018 earlier? As you know, I'm slowly building up my Doctor Who collection. I've wanted to get all the stickered exclusives and the convention pops, even for characters that I really haven't had any exposure to yet. And you saw some of those from Seven Books a Pop recently, like um, the Twelfth Doctor, for example. Pating, I don't know if this is like a good character, you know, a good guy or bad guy character. Looking at him, and when I saw some photos of him online, he's got that sort of cutesy look, that kind of, ooh, merchandise me instantly look that um, you expect from like Star Wars and anything Disney related. So I'm assuming this little fella is on the side of the Doctor, and I'm assuming that it's someone who appeared in a 13th Doctor story, whereas I'm not even finished on the 11th Doctor yet, so I've got a ways to go in relation to watching it. A quick look on the back here, uh, I think there's a couple of 10th Doctors there, and a 12th with his sunglasses and guitar. That'll be the War Doctor again. Am I holding this up properly? I hope so. I uh, do have that. And I also have Davros, who is a six inch pop. I will get Pating out to show you. And here he is. Can't really say an awful lot about him because I don't even know what episode of Doctor Who that he's in. I will eventually see it. Like I say, I'm kind of preempting myself. I'm getting some of these at a good price early doors now, just in case when I've finally got round to catching up fully on Doctor Who, in case any of these pops that I want that I can get relatively cheap now, they suddenly shoot up in value because I'm getting vaulted or whatever. Um, Pating, obviously, he's been out now for nearly three years years his value doesn't seem to be going in fact it's going down by all accounts so uh, perhaps this one was a bit common for a convention exclusive yeah he looks interesting enough with these sort of um, four antennae sticking out of his head he's got little gnashing teeth there oh, he's got a little tail there as well yeah, I don't really know what else to say about him. He's some sort of alien, some sort of creature. Whether he's nice or nasty, I'm not entirely sure. I have no idea. Pating goes back in his box. I'll put him in an ATV pop protector later on. Very happy to add another Doctor Who pop. It's a collection that I don't think is ever going to be complete of one character each. When I say ever, I think it will be eventually. It's just going to be a marathon, not a sprint, which for anyone who knows me and how I collect things, not just pops, but a lot of stuff, I like to kind of splurge and get as much as I can, as quick as I can. But I must admit, I'm actually kind of pleased with myself that I'm taking my time with this Doctor Who line. And uh, there is others that I want but I'm just waiting and if I come across any of them and they seem really good price, like on a discount, I will pick them up. And we started out with Bianca Belair from the WWE, of course, one of the best and most talented women's wrestlers out there in the current era. She'll be going in the cabinet later on. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed this look at a couple of not exactly relevant to one another Funko Pops here from Pop Culture. 
Special thanks go, as always, to my amazing subscribers and generous patrons. Please see all my Funko affiliates where you can get discounts on your purchases and also help me out and this channel for me to help it grow by clicking all the links down in the description text box. Speaking of links down there, there's also Patreon and Facebook group and content insurance. I'm going to go now. Going to put Pating in a protector and then I need to do some shuffling around in this display here that has mainly TV and a bit of movie in there as well. And then also put Bianca's stand on her foot and stick her in the cabinet, assuming that she's not a bit too tall for it because of the hair. But we shall see. Well, you won't because I'm not going to shoot that. That's going to be boring. But um, I'll see, I should have said. And uh, please do join me again next time for my next Funko Pop unboxing. Cheers, everyone. See ya!